Hello Nippies, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Nips, a freelance artist and today we're going to be working on a little watercolor comic using two characters, Anya and Pico from my comic Offsell, which is free to read online at offsellcomic.com. I got the subjects for this drawing over at the offsell Instagram at offsells with an S at the end because I was starting to take some character requests to see who you guys wanted to see drawn and so I've written some of them down and I've been using them as subjects for my morning warm-ups. I wanted to try something new so I wanted to go ahead and use my watercolor sketchbook and see if I can doodle some watercolor pieces and in turn I wanted to let go of my need to rely on line art and so here you see me doing some thumbnails just a quick idea no text or anything just very short I wanted to kind of experiment with the concept of no line art and just really get comfortable using color and shapes and brush strokes to kind of set the mood for the drawing and finish it up that way. I tend to be pretty bad at that. I usually just rely on my line art to do the work for me. So I thought this would be really fun. I set a time limit of one to two hours every day to just kind of get my day started and kind of get the creative juices flowing. So here you see me drafting the thumbnail onto my sketchbook, which this sketchbook, this watercolor sketchbook, I honestly am not a huge fan of the pages. They tend to bubble up pretty easily, but I do want to get through the sketchbook either way, so I'm just kind of using it to do these morning explorations and mess with some of the materials that I have stacked up. If you guys are ever curious about traditional materials that I use in my videos, I have an affiliate Amazon shop link below with the stuff that I use, and if you use that link, of course, I get some commission. The exact products that I use should be on there, and if they're not on there, it's because I couldn't find it on Amazon, but in general, they should be on there. Here you see me use a thicker than normal pencil. Typically I like to go for the thinner one, which is my 0.3, but this is 0.5. I wanted to not focus too much on the details. I always get caught up in that. So I decided to go a size larger. I wanted to block out some shapes and composition details and then move on to watercolor. So here you see me pulling out my watercolor palette. This is the one that I typically use the most. I've got my favorite brushes, got my rag all ready to go. Here I'm gonna use my kneaded netted eraser to lighten up the lines a little bit so I can apply the colors comfortably without the pencil getting in the way. I decided to kind of start off with the shadows and where I wanted the light to be coming from. This process is always really scary to me. I, I don't necessarily have a color thumbnail. I know some artists do color sampling for larger illustrations just to kind of get an idea of where the lighting's gonna be, what colors they wanna use, and just kind of prepare before just diving into a piece. But because this is a sketch, I almost kind of wanted to wing it and start honing my instinctive process and color choice. I really wanted to get better at just instinctually being able to do something and color pick and pick the best process for a piece.
Of course, for more detailed illustrations, I definitely would do some thumbnails on the colors and the light sources and the values and everything. But for this, I really just wanted to wing it and have some fun and just kind of go with the flow. I tried my best to not get frustrated. There were some parts where I wished I had picked a different color or that I had gone with a different value. But at the end of the day, I did my best to just continue and move forward. And if I did something that I wasn't a fan of, I would try to make it work and just kind of keep going. And whatever decision I made, I would stick by it and find a way to implement it nicely into the piece. I started adding the shapes and the shadows. I didn't necessarily know how dark I wanted to go with this piece. I kind of wanted to keep my blacks very red and light. I didn't want to go too dark, but I ended up making Anya's eyes a little too dark. And so I had to start putting very deep blacks in other places to keep the whole piece rather balanced. I wanted to make this more loose so I didn't put tape in order to contain the drawing but in doing so I actually messed up doing the border and I did a very shoddy job at <laughs> trying to fix it which you guys will see later. Here you see me applying the shapes for the full body ones and honestly this part kind of scared me a little bit because I'm very bad at zoomed out shapes and gestures so I tried my best to kind of capture the essence of the figures and the poses without going into too much detail was which was giving me one giant panic attack because I really wanted to go in with a micron and just fix the details and do the line art and kind of finish it up. My resolution for this piece was to not use any brushes, pencils, pens, or anything at the end and just leave it exactly as it was with the watercolor and the gouache. It was very difficult for me. It was definitely a challenge, but I really like how the piece turned out. I think the thing that I didn't like the most was messing up the border and then having to find a way to fix it and then completely ruining it with the white gouache and the texture. I also had a hard time capturing the accuracy of the colors through the camera. I think that's one thing I've noticed the more that I work traditionally, that it's, it's very hard to capture what it actually looks like in person on a digital medium. Here you see me ruining the piece. I went too dark with the border on the right and I put, tried to cover it in white gouache, layers of white gouache, and it just, <laughs> it was a disaster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, join the Nippy family today. Become a nipple. <laughs> and thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting what I do, supporting my art. If you guys want to check it out, there's a lot of exclusive behind the scenes, artwork, comic content, works in progress, speed paints, sketchbook content, everything you can imagine, it's there. Check it out, patreon.com slash onips. And I will see you guys for next week's video. Thank you again and bye.